In this video, I want to show you how you can export from Cinema 4D, which is a 3D modeling application, and I will open it up right away from my computer. And if you don't have it installed, you can download the free trial on uh, the official website, which will be, well, just type Cinema 4D, and you can type try, and you can download this uh, software and also other software here just go to products you can see all the Maxon software and Cinema 4D Redshift also is a good um, render engine and you can download both and in our YouTube channel you will find in the playlist section of the channel some video courses and we have a Redshift video course and also a Cinema 4D video course for you so if you don't know what Cinema 4D is you should probably uh, give it a look to that and also we will use uh, well we will use this plugin called Datasmith and for Unreal Engine and this plugin supports a lot of software a lot of 3D application like 3ds Max and Cinema 4D but also Revit and SketchUp and also EFC files Rhino 3D NURBS files and a lot of stuff here that you can check by yourself so if you scroll down, you can click to get the plugin, so you can get this Datasmith uh, export plugin for all these different types of software. And well, the good news is that you don't need it for Maxon. So if you want to use Maxon, you just have to save your Cinema 4D file without exporting, without uh, having to install any Datasmith into your um, plugin into your Cinema 4D. So if you want to know more about this process, you can go here. If you search for Datasmith C for the importer, you can go here or exporter. Well, depends on uh, the way you look at it. And here you will find all the steps. Also with previous versions of uh, Cinema 4D, you will have to go here and save the project and also activate these preferences here which are no more available in the latest versions of Cinema 4D. But if you have a uh, version, pre uh, previous version, uh, previous pre prior to R22, then you have to do also this step here to do it uh, in a correct way. So uh, I already have a scene here that I can open up, but you can open any scene that you have in uh, your computer in Cinema 4D if you are a Cinema 4D user or if you want to just uh, do a test well you can go to the website and uh, TurboSquid in this website you will find a lot of 3D models you can use any 3D model that you find in the web you can use any website but this is just one and I, I have chosen uh, a simple uh, kitchen scene that I found on this Turbo Squid. And you can see you can find many different types of uh, scenes that you can just import in Cinema 4D and then use it for this to do this exercise. And you have to you have to create an account if you want to use a, a Turbo Squid, which I already have. And I will show you what I have downloaded so far from this website, I've downloaded a lot of stuff. So I will use this scene that you can also download. You have to create an account register. You can download this totally for free. And the scene that I want to use, it's this one right here. It's called uh, Gyred 3D Free Kitchen. So you will find this and you can download it as well. Now this is it. And you can look for this uh, file, this author, and there you go. You can click on download and you will find it in your download folder and then you can download it in your computer and you have to extract it as well. So you can do all of this or you can probably use your scene in Cinema 4D if you are a Cinema 4D user. And if you are a Cinema 4D user, you probably don't know real well Unreal Engine. So if you want to download Unreal Engine, again, you have to get into the main website, which is unrealengine.com. And here you have to create an account and then you can download 
from here the Epic Launcher, which is this other piece of software right here, Epic Games Launcher. And this launcher will give you the possibility to uh, download and install various versions of Unreal Engine. Also, you can download games and other stuff here. It's a pretty big um, launcher and it's also in an other video guides. So if you, int if you are interested, just go into our YouTube channel and search for Unreal Engine or search for Epic Games. You will find other video guides. And again, also we have some courses here about V-Ray for Unreal Engine. And uh, we will do also more video courses and more video guides about Unreal Engine. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel and uh, stay updated. So right now I'm using this um, version here of uh, Unreal Engine. So I will click on here and I will launch a scene right away. And once this loads up, I want to show you this um, kitchen that I have downloaded and create project. And now it's creating this, uh, well, not it's not empty. I have some stuff inside. This is why templates are useful because you don't have to start from scratch. And there it is. So this is a kind of empty space, but not so empty. So if I click play, I can like shoot around things. And this is the wonderful thing about Unreal Engine for those of you who are new to Unreal Engine is that you can explore, you can interact with your scene. You, you are not limited to static renderings or animation, which will be passive here. You can be interactive and active. Okay, now press ESC to exit the simulation. And I will not explain everything for you guys. You just have to wait for a full video course about Unreal Engine. And if you support us with uh, comments and uh, donation and viral marketing we, we will get more uh, visitors and we will make this uh, video course as soon as we can and with the version 5 of Unreal Engine. So now I need to go to the settings and activate the plugins and I want to search for built-in plugins and here I search for Datasmith and there it is the Datasmith C4D importer, so I have to enable this, yes, and I have to restart this, the, the level. So I... Okay, now the level is restarted and I can close the plugin page and everything is uh, at their place like, like it was when I close it. And I want to import, so to import, I just click here on Datasmith and I just have to get the Cinema 4D file. No need to export in any uh, strange... Uh, format i just take this this is the one that i saved and i can open it and that's it now i have to choose what i want to bring in and where so i want to bring to the content folder everything so i want geometry material slides cameras and so on also it's asking me about the light map resolution here in these advanced options so the light map it's something really important and you can see this in our video course for, uh, that we are producing V-Ray for Unreal Engine. So if you go here in the page playlist and go to the English video courses and go here, you can see this V-Ray Unreal video course. And we are talking about light maps and how they can be really useful to have high quality uh, rendering. So if you also look for here light map and search, you will find many different videos about uh, light maps. Just check the English videos and not the Italian videos because we have two languages. Okay. And also we want to generate light map UVs. This is also really important. And let's click import. And now it's importing here. Okay, so we have this thing inserted and we can see it's it's it emits light. So what we want to do now it's uh, try to uh, find this in the word outliner right here on the top left on the top right sorry and this is where we can actually see everything that it's in our scene but with this really handful list useful list so I can get this uh, file here which represents my kitchen and inside there we have cameras we have other stuff that's why I'm seeing this rectangle here with the camera view and when I select these, it's kind of I am selecting a group where everything I have imported, it's stored. So I can click now in this arrow, I can 
I want to bring this up and I can there are many lights that um, are a little bit annoying because they are really too bright and I have to fix everything now well the important important scene is there I can see it clearly so I cannot see textures and materials but I can easily create them into a real engine and I don't see them because they were V-Ray and I didn't have the plugin V-Ray for Cinema 4D so this is why I don't see textures and materials otherwise uh, Data Smith should uh, import everything uh, like materials and textures and so on so don't worry about that do other tests let me know if you have problems in importing textures and uh, materials and now what you can do is well just um, place this in a correct position like that and we can hit play again so we can jump in this scene directly with our character and there you go I can interact I can see the scene uh, here from this uh, well we have some really bright lights that we have to fix but I can explore the scene I can go around it's pretty nice because that scene in another software would would have been like static and not so interactive so we need to fix something and it's easy here because we have this uh, group which uh, all the uh, everything has been stored you can see the lights have been correctly translated here and I can find this inside the scene and perhaps I can turn them off like that or uh, well here I have uh, you can see a group so I can turn off all the different lights which are too many and also this is too bright so I can just decrease the lights of some the, the intensity of some lights that's all I have to do or I can turn that off directly and look how many lights I have here so you can turn off and on everything anytime so everything is uh, with the hoarder uh, hierarchy that it was in the original Cinema 4D file so I can work with this also I have to build the lightning so I have to do a lot of stuff here in a real engine but I have everything from Cinema 4D I have all the scene all the cameras all the lights and if I add materials and textures I also add those and this is just you know to show you that it's pretty easy to import an entire scene from another software using Datasmith and in this case uh, we are using Cinema 4D, but in other tutorials we used other software like 3ds Max and uh, SketchUp, and they all work fine. So it's uh, an excellent plugin, an excellent application. Okay, now we can uh, well we can also check down here in the content how everything has been imported. If I open up the content browser right now, I have these. Um, there you go, this folder where I have everything stored here so I have a folder for all the geometries and let's for example double click on this so these are for just the leaves of a plant and you can check all these different geometry that I have imported and if I add also materials and textures I would have here folders for materials and textures as well and so this is just uh, you know the beginning if you want to work with Unreal Engine then you have to work with materials and lights and uh, all other stuff but it's uh, really fast and easy to export for Cinema 4D and import in uh, Unreal Engine thanks to this uh, plugin so thanks for watching this video again subscribe leave comments suggestions or questions anything positive and uh, can that can be useful to other user it's uh, well appreciated and if you want to support us go to the community and copy and paste this link right here or you can uh, buy something from the store uh, anything it's useful and you if you will support us we will do a lot more videos and courses in our youtube channel so thanks for watching and see you in the next video